For today's money makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this super easy smoky eye. And we're only using two eyeshadows to create this look, one dark and one medium. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel and you like tutorials like this, then please click the subscribe button below. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started in creating this super easy look. To create this look, you are going to need an eyeshadow primer, some mascara and some lashes, though the lashes are perfectly optional. A small brush to apply eyeshadow, I'm using the EO one by Blank Canvas Cosmetics and a fluffy or blending brush, and I'm using the Blank Canvas Cosmetics E20. And of course, two eyeshadows, and I'm using a deep green with a beautiful metallic finish, and then a medium matte shade. This should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone, and if you're struggling to find one, you can always use your contour or your bronzer, depending on the type of green that you're using. I'm going for more of a peachy sort of beige shade because I feel like peaches work so great with greens. To start off with, I've already primed my eyelids and this is gonna give our eyeshadows something to hold on to while also creating a blank canvas for us to work on. And we're actually gonna start off using the green shade. And what I'm gonna do is really kind of buff and blend this into the lash line. Now this technique is a sort of a, a polishing buffing motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our fingertips and we're gonna press this right at the lash line. And then we're gonna use a clean finger to kind of buff it in, almost like buffing in like a shine. It's sort of that kind of buffing motion to really adhere the shadow to the lids. Now this is just an alternative to using an eyeliner pencil as a base. Basically it just gives the shadow something to hold on to and creates a really dark, deep base for us. And it's just gonna make sure that that shimmer and shine is gonna show up a little bit more. So I'm just using my two fingers to apply and buff, and I'm not going up past the center point of the lid. So keep this on the lower half of the lid. And you should then end up with something that looks like this. Now, it doesn't look like much, but as we keep working, we're gonna end up with something like this. And the reason we can get this is because we have that nice base already on the lid. Now we're gonna move on to our brushes. I'm gonna take that small EO one by Blank Chemist Cosmetics, and I'm gonna take that green shade again. Now what we like to do here on the makeup chair is we like to take the EO one and we like to press it down to create a fan shape. And this is just gonna give us lots of control. And we're gonna use this control to buff and press that shadow over the lid. So what we wanna do is to start at the lash line and then very slowly build this up, but again, keeping on the lower half of the lid. And you should end up with something that looks like this, but take your time with it and really make sure you're getting those beautiful green shades to show up. Now we need to create a fade. We can't have these harsh lines. So we're gonna take that medium shade, that medium matte shade and that fluffy brush that we love. So grab your favorite blending brush and apply a little bit of the shadow to start with, blending over and back above the eyeshadow that we've already applied. And you wanna very slowly build this up. You don't wanna go in with too much eyeshadow because then you're gonna to have to do a lot more blending. So very slowly build up this in order to create a soft, gentle blend. And you're just working over and back. And don't worry if you have to end up going over the green because you can always go in with a little bit more of the eyeshadow once you have that soft blend and just apply a little bit more of the green to make sure it pops. And then went in with lots of mascara and some falsies. And there you go, a super easy look using two eyeshadows. If you want, you can check back in my next video. I'm gonna show you how you can add a few more steps to create more of a glittery finish. 
but I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and let me know other combinations of colors that you want to try or your favorites or something that you might be a little scared of. And I'll try and create a nice little combination that makes it a little easier. If you like these type of tutorials, you can check out more of the videos on the screen, but as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.